What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, welcome to another unboxing video! Yes! I was doing my daily journal thing, where it just asked me a question, it looks like this. It asked me a question every day, and I just have to answer the question, and one of the questions was, what's your current favorite word? And I put, yes! And then in parentheses I put, verbally and in writing, because I do that in both. Anyways, in this video we're going to be unboxing this! Oh. This, the 2017 February comic block. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go and put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you remove the plastic and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. All right. Now, in theory, we should have our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic. They were supposed to give it to us last month and then it they didn't. And so they gave it to us this month, which is awesome. I'm gonna set the shirt aside. The first item we have is a DC bombshells thing. I think they have a partnership. Oops, my bad. Uh, I think they have a partnership with whatever company makes these because they've been giving it to us um, a lot of months, which is fine. It's not one of my favorite products, but I know a lot of you guys like them. I wish that they would stop putting the Nerd Block exclusive sticker on the wrapping because uh, most likely I won't keep this and so I'll put it in my giveaway, but it's always nice to kind of have the sticker that says it's an exclusive. All right, in our DC bombshells, we got Catwoman. And let me put this aside. I like this cat woman because I love her outfit because I love purple. So this is the one that we got. This is cat one. I'm assuming everyone got the same one to be honest. And I love her little cat here. This actually looks so me. Like I feel like when I grow old, I might look like this minus the, the chest portion. I don't think I'm ever gonna I don't think I'm ever gonna just have that unless I add it on later on in my life, which I don't plan on it. But this looks like an outfit that I would totally wear. Well, actually, she's wearing a purple dress. I would wear this outfit if that was a purple shirt and she was wearing some, like, gray sweats. But yeah, so there you go. The normal Catwoman figure is wearing a black dress. Let's see if I can show this to you. So this is the normal Catwoman figure. So we got Catwoman in a purple dress, and that's what makes it the Nerd Block exclusive. So that is pretty cool. I actually like that. And I like her. I actually might keep this. I just realized as I was unboxing this that Catwoman might actually encompass everything that I'm all about. Although she's a little bit evil, isn't she? So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, she's a bad guy. Maybe I'm a bad guy. I think I might actually be a bad guy in life. I always seem to like relate or like the bad guys more. Okay, here we go. Let's check out our comics for this month. So the comic that I'm most excited for is this. This is the Power Rangers Justice League mashup comic. I have been looking at these uh, online recently. I've been currently reading the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic series, like the standalone one, um, and I saw that these came out. So this is issue one, which is very cool, so I can start reading this and see how I like it. And if I like it, then I might look into buying, like, I think they have a volume out, I want to say. And if not, I'll buy all of the issues separately. So uh, this is really cool. I enjoy that a lot. It, are not all the Power Rangers in it? How come the Black Ranger and the Blue Ranger aren't, aren't on that cover? Do they not get to be on the cover? I'm glad that the... Hey, wait! The Yellow Ranger's not on here either! What the heck, guys? What the heck? I thought for some reason I saw her, but it might be the background. So, okay, I like that comic. Very cool. The next item we got is an Assassin's Creed Uprising comic. Uh, I don't have any use for this, but I know I do have a lot of Assassin's Creed stuff that I have in my giveaway, so I will add this to that. And so if I ever do, if anyone ever asks for Assassin's Creed giveaway items, or if I do an Assassin's Creed box, that'll be perfect for it. We got a, this one's called The Raid Anthology. I don't, I've never even heard of this. And then the last comic we got is, I think it says Agents of Rast. But I don't know. I've never even heard of that. So, oh, past. Agents. <laughs> Why did I even think that that was an R? It doesn't even look like an R. It clearly looks like a P. Agents of past. Oh, man. I don't know. I've never um, heard of that before. I don't even know what it's from. Agents of past. It looks like, uh, I don't know. 
It looks like women who are agents. Honestly, just looking at this comic, it doesn't look that interesting, but I don't really know. I would have to actually sit down and read it. Now that I've been reading comics, I actually might check that out and see what it's about, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, and then uh, before we do our shirt, we did get one more thing. It's an art print, and this is of Catwoman. So, and they've done this recently where they make their print kind of align with their DC bombshells figure, because last time we got Poison Ivy, and we got a Poison Ivy print. Uh, this one's cool. I like this better than that weird Poison Ivy print that we got last month. That one was a little bit weird for me. Not that it matters, but the back of this is all blue, and I think it's from the box, actually. Not the best quality print, to be honest. If you just, when you're looking at it closely, it just, I mean, it's obviously something that they just mass printed, but the quality of the print's actually not that great, if you look at it fairly closely. Okay, and then we have our shirt. Our shirt is a... Why do they always do this? Why, guys? You give us, like, all DC items, and then you give us a Marvel shirt. I bet you they don't have... I don't know. I don't remember them having, like, a partnership with DC, so that might be why. But I hate when they do that. Like, there's no Marvel products in here. And then you give us a Marvel shirt. That's so odd to me. We got a, a Guild and Soft Style Men's Medium. It's a navy blue shirt, and it's Marvel. How is it? You know one of the things about Marvel, and honestly, I feel like this is an X-Men shirt, but one of the things with, about their shirts, their Marvel shirts, they all are now looking the same. Like, this looks like the same, I mean, not exactly the same, but like, they've been doing a lot of shirts that just have like, the blocks, and I used to really like that, but now it's starting to get a little bit old. Like, they either do the horizontal ones, or they do ones like this. Like, the, the, it, the creativity is not necessarily there. It's like the same design, but with just different people. I still don't understand why we got a freaking Marvel shirt. That doesn't make any sense to me, and I know a lot of you guys are like, well, it's, co it's a comic block. It doesn't mean that, and I get that, but, like, you want your box to at least be somewhat cohesive, right? Like, a little bit? A little bit cohesive? Like, some of the items? I don't know. Like, a lot of the other items connect. You gave us a comic book that has DC Comics. You gave us the, the bombshell heroes. And all Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and do some price and recap. Before we do that, it's time for another edition of Use My $10 Credit on the Nerd Block Shop site to get $10 off your purchase. First person, first person to use this gets it, and if you were able to use it, let me know what you purchased with it. Make sure you write down the code correctly, because a lot of you guys were saying that it wasn't working, but then somebody was able to use it. It also might not work, because maybe somebody used it, too. That could be a thing. Okay, here we go. Pricing and recap time. Here's our booklet. Same booklet as all the other ones. So, the first item we got is a little bombshells Catwoman figure. So, these are actually really expensive. I saw these at uh, the store. And I want to say that they were $10 each. So with that, because this is an exclusive, I would probably actually be willing to give this about $12. These, for some reason, are going going for a lot. I don't think it's worth that much. Honestly, if I price this out, it's nothing more than a mystery mini but in a tin can. So mystery minis are $6. You might be able to give it 7 because it comes in a tin can. But I really don't think that the $10 price point is justified for this. I think so. I'm just not a fan of... I'm also not a fan of DC, so... We'll go ahead and give that $12. I think that's priced really high. That's if we're going off the $10 price point plus $2 for the exclusive. So it just depends on if you think that's the case. We have our Catwoman print by W. Scott Forbes. This print just gets a dollar. It's... There's something about prints, and I know you guys get mad at me. This print is literally, like, mass-produced by NerdBlock. It's, the, the print itself is not even that great in quality, and just the actual cardstock is not great. They obviously didn't do a good job protecting it. I just don't think... It's like, you can go online and potentially just print out your own print. And I know that seems really mean, and I don't want to offend any artists, but, like, when you guys individually number them or you sign them, it increases the value and it makes it better, but... Prints like this, I just don't, I don't think that things like this specifically are worth that much. Now, if you think they are worth more, then you can price it more and see what your price point is of the overall box. The first comic that we got was our Justice League Power Ranger comic. I love this. This is a, um, it's issue number one and it's a very cover, so, uh, now that I buy comic books, and I've been purchasing a lot of comic books. Price at $3.99 regular price, which is fine. I, that's how much I would pay for this. But because it is a variant cover, you could add a dollar to it if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and add a dollar to that one because I would pay $5 for that. I know a lot of you guys also get mad at me for that, but um, this comic book, I'm going to give $4. That was uh, Agents of Past. Oh, it's packed. I'm just failing miserably. That font, I obviously can't read that font. So that's Agents of Past. 
sorry. We had our The Raid Anthology issue zero. This gets uh, $4 as well. We had Assassin's Creed Uprising and uh, yeah, that gets $4 as well. Obviously, I gave the Power Ranger comic one more dollar because why not? And then we had our X-Men shirt, which gets $10. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $40. I pay $28 a month for this box, so we got $12 extra value, which is actually really good. Uh, for a $30 box, we're looking for $10 extra value, and even if you pay the $30 for the monthly plan, you're getting exactly $10 extra value. It's so funny now that I actually started reading comics, I know that you guys are going to be like, you're stupid, but I actually appreciate this box a little bit more than I have in the past, and I hope to get more, I hope to get into more uh, comics and different comics and figure out different series that I like, but I'm excited to read this one for sure. If I had to rate this box, I would give this box a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. This was my favorite item in the box, and I would say that the value is good. Um, good value. If you liked all these items, you could give this box, you could give this box maybe a 4.75 out of 5 noobs. I still think that they could do a teeny bit better with the value because they're just hitting that point, but they do hit the point that we're looking for, so potentially if you liked all the items, you could give it a 5. I, what I dislike about this box is just personally, I don't like all of these comics, obviously, that's why for me personally it's a little bit lower. I also am not a fan of the connections that they make with the overall box. I don't like how it seems very DC comic heavy and then they give us a Marvel shirt. I just think they could do a better job of connecting the items within this box a little bit better. I know the comics are going to be all random because it's hard to connect four comics unless you're giving a series, so that makes sense, and I'm glad that they give us a wide range of comics, but when it comes to the other items, I feel like, you know, if you're going to give us a, a DC print, a DC bombshells hero thing, and then um, a comic book that also has DC comic characters, you should give us a DC comic shirt. It just makes sense to me. And they've been doing this every single month where they give us a, a all DC stuff and then a Marvel shirt. I don't know. I just, I guess that must be a pet peeve of mine and I didn't realize it. Um, but yeah, I would give this box a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I did like this box this month. Uh, I appreciate the bombshells, hero things, whatever they're called, because I know a lot of people like them and they have good value because I don't know why, but they do have very good value. And then I do like the comic book, the uh, Power Rangers and, and the Justice League. So that was cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box overall in general. Do you think it was good? Did you like all the items? And if you did, would you give it a 5? Or is it still lacking a little bit? This box can't get as creative as all the other boxes because it's kind of tied down to what they normally do. It's usually four comic books, a print, some kind of item, and a shirt. That's like kind of just how this box is. So I don't actually assume that this box is going to get more creative with the items they're putting in. I just think that in my in my mind they should do a better job of kind of connecting the additional items to kind of what they're doing. Like find one of the comic books that you're doing and maybe um, attach uh, all of your other items to that just to make the box connect a little bit more so that it doesn't seem super random. Just my opinions. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which I don't have right now, but I will have soon. So be on the lookout in future videos for that. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!